Right, hello vinyl community. So this is a video for um, Richard McCook. That's why I'm wearing my Arsenal shirt to celebrate his uh, three years in the VC. So congratulations, Richard. Um, yeah, on with the show. Right, okay, so you asked, first question was, uh, I mean, this is a competition, but I'm not so fussed about that really. Three artists you'd like, you like the album the most and the album you like the least. Right, okay, so, um, right, album I like the most uh, of Neil Young was the first album I liked by him or got into him about the sort of time that I suppose grunge was prevalent, wasn't it, in about 93, 94, and then um, um, It Sleeps With Angels. Yeah, I mean, they all, they all got into that, didn't they? And then I think I got into Neil Young through them um, quoting him a lot of the time. Yeah, what was apparent when I did this, when I look for albums that I've got by people, I don't have tons and tons of albums by more than about 10 artists like I'd say a lot of artists and people small or big I've only got about like two three of max sort of thing I don't go I don't appear to go full in to a lot of people like Neil Young I think maybe I've got about five or six but that's not so um common really the album that I would say not overrated but I don't really listen to uh, is a copy from Music and Record, sorry, Music and Video Exchange in London I got absolutely years ago, probably in the 90s, and it's On the Beach, of which, um, yeah, I just don't listen to it very often, no. I mean, this is this is often cited as, the, as one of the ones that people always want to get and, you know, are great, but... Not for me, no. Porcupine Tree is the next artist. Um, I got this last year, or a couple of years ago, I think it's a uh, probably a reissue of uh, Acid Trip Voyage 34, and I haven't really listen listened to that that much, to be honest. Um, Porcupine Tree I saw in a pub, um, an upper room above a pub. I know they're very big now, but I haven't really delved into anything. This is from 1993, um, and um, I'm not even sure. I presume that Stephen Wilson was in the band. I just like their first few albums, to be honest, and that's all I have up the downstairs. And the last artist of um, favourite album and least favourite albums, <coughs> I don't know how to say this, but... Walter, Wendy Carlos, so Sonic Seasoning, so aside for each uh, season kind of thing. Um, obviously fall for Americans instead of um, autumn. So this is um, her, her album from 1972. And then I think they, she must have had a lot of contractual obligations to... to um, um, do so um, this is a sort of a, <laughs> a typical thing that will probably happen so this is Walter Carlos by request so there's um, Eleanor Rigby on here and um, there's some more interesting stuff there's Handel's Water Music uh, What's New Pussycat is on here yeah so it's that kind of a thing yeah maybe, maybe she decided maybe she chose what she wanted to do I don't know but um there must have been quite a lot of sort of um, commerciality, co commerciality about that sort of a thing. Right, that's taken far too long to talk about that. Um, three artists, the greatest hits. I thought I'd be clever here. So um, at the moment, politics and uh, Boris are in in the UK is causing a lot of um, problems. Um, so I decided that this would be his greatest hits um, of sorts because. Um, this is, um, well, you don't want to listen to politicians all the time, do you? So this is uh, narrated by Edward R. Murrow, and it's it's sort of the greatest hits of the famous speeches of Winston, Sir Winston Churchill on um, CBS. Yeah, with a booklet in it and whatnot, and printed in USA. Yeah, so that's my first greatest hits. <laughs>
The second I have two of. Um, ironically, hasn't got Wind of Change on here. So we have um, the five track sort of best of mini LP gold ballads with a typical Scorpions cover on it. Um, got a bit of tit showing there on that one. And the other one is a proper, well, it says manufacturer's property, not for sale, but this is a best of rockers and ballads by the Scorpions. And the last band, Greatest Hits. Uh, you've probably never heard of this band, most of you. So they're called Young Fresh Fellows. So they have been around um, since 80s, I suppose, and I got into them 90s. It's that sort of garage pop kind of thing, but with some fairly obscure um, songs on here, one of which was used on a Kodak advert, certainly in the UK, called Picture Book um, for Kodak cameras, if they still exist, I don't know. Yeah, some of the songs, Hank, Karen and Elvis, um, uh, Taco Wagon, Horses, 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 Take My Brain Away, um, Rock and Roll, Pest Control. Yeah, this is a Spanish compilation with a three, with a three seven inch. I think I've shown it before. It's got a zippity doo dar, I think, on it or something, or something like that. Oh, sometimes I want you for your money. So yeah, so they're a band. I suppose if you would put them in any particular category or compare them, I might say they're a bit more like a more straightforward. Uh, they might be giants or maybe king missile sort of thing. Humour and music, something that is uh, quite difficult to do at times, isn't it? Three CDs then uh, that I would like on um, record. So rather um, in a self-obsessed way, I would like a C one of the CDs that I did on uh, record. So that is my first um, foray into sampling. There. I know you can get it done. It costs like 50, 60 quid or something, I think. Um, what the results are like, I don't know. I could have done it ages ago, but I haven't. This is the uh, film um, Meryl Streep in uh, Florence Foster Jenkins. I'd love to find something by her um, out in the wild or, um, yeah, just on vinyl would be quite good fun to find. Probably on 78s, I would have thought. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that is my second artist I'd like to uh, have on record or own on record, just for the sake of it, you know. And then the third one, I was trying to be clever again here. So this is a Jupiter NASA Voyager Space Sounds. Amazing sounds um, in it. I see, uh, don't remember which probe it was that went or went left our solar system, but I was sort of like thinking, that'd be quite cool to have that. I mean, personally speaking, um, I suppose I don't think anyone's going to find it. I might be wrong, but um, yeah. So um, yeah, that would be my third choice, Richard. So um, thanks again for doing your channel and starting it up three years ago. Yeah. Um, and um, as you would say, all the best now. All the best now. Bye.